Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft Wizard Mining. And as indicated by this scaffolding tower back there, we built another tower. Uh, and we start uh, at the bottom with a wool farm, uh, which is based off a design or an idea from Xumawite. And I quite like it. It's not the most compact one, uh, but it is quite illustrative uh, uh, how uh, uh, farming wool works. However, the downside is it needs quite a bit of uh, grass blocks. And as we cannot simply mine them, we have to use a trick. So what we can do is um, we can make a bit of coarse dirt, but not with uh, chiseled stone. So let me let me get a bit of uh, gravel first, and then I can show you. All right, with uh, gravel and dirt. Uh, out of one stack of uh, dirt, we can make two stacks of coarse dirt. And then if we place it out like this, uh, we can make pass blocks out of it. And if we break them again, we have dirt block. So this is not the, the fastest way to get dirt um, but seeing that we cannot just break naturally generated blocks this will have to do and then i also need to find some uh, some grass blocks um, because we need grass in our farm and not dirt so all the dirt then needs to turn into grass and let me first collect the all the dirt that i can get and i think i have also a bit more over at the, the village over there the first cell or the lowest layer is now in place and here in this glass chamber we will have uh, eight sheep uh, of four different colors which means uh, if we uh, repeat that upwards we will have uh, four such layers and the wool of a sheep um, grows back when they eat grass, which then will turn to dirt. And if that happens, it's detected by an observer down there, sending a signal down here and out, um, also triggering uh, this uh, dispenser that will eventually f be filled with shears shearing the regrown wool right off and uh, then we have a minecart on a rail below that block collecting everything and shooting it into here where we probably will have a water column going up and then into that sorting system over there here on this side you can see that the signal goes out and around with uh, various delays and here on the outside you can spot pistons that basically push this uh, inner level of dirt or grass around and the first piston that fires is this one, where we actually have a grass block in front. Uh, so moving everything over will uh, move a block before that. And then this piston 
and then that one over there. So back there I have bred a few sheep, so now it's uh, time for the difficult task to get them in here. With a bit of uh, practice, even this sheep leading is not as bad. A uh, bit of uh, wheat, a bit of lead, and generally it works out all good and nice as long as you don't try to uh, haste it uh, so that the uh, sheep would go somewhere where they should not and then over here just move it in that's all on this level and as you can see uh, this farm is already working minus the, the shearing we will add the shears all at the end all four layers are in place. I connected up a water stream here at the top that funnels in back there to our existing one. And then I also extended the, the sink down there a bit so we can have our 16 colors on one side and have some free chests on the other one for future projects that will eventually come but that's all for now and uh, we will see each other again pretty soon until then goodbye